In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use our Heikinashi program with either version 15 or version 16 of Metastock. But for a complete tutorial on the Heikinashi program, make sure and take a look at our video which is called the Heikinashi for Metastock tutorial. It's a 30 minute video and it goes into great detail of exactly how to interpret the different signals, work with the different indicators, and also scan for different signals. First of all, let me state that the Heikinashi program was originally created to be used with Metastock version 11. But since the release of Metastock 11, Metastock's gone through a number of different upgrades over the years. And during one of those upgrades, they also changed their data format. That, of course, posed a problem for our Heikinashi program. Our Heikinashi program can only read the older Metastock data format. But the good news is, is we have a workaround for that. And the workaround is, is that if you use an older version of the downloader, and that is version 10 or version 11, you can download the data using this version of the downloader, and what it'll do is it'll save the data in what's called a legacy format, which is the older format. And that is what Metasoc 15 or 16 can then work with. So in order to get your hands on that older version of the downloader, the first thing you need to be is you need to be a registered user of Metastock 15 or 16. And if you are, you can contact the tech support department at Metastock and they'll send you a free copy of that older version. And then of course, once you've received that version of the downloader, let me show you how you work with it. So to get started with the downloader, you'll see I've got a shortcut to it here on my desktop. So I'll go ahead and click on that and open it up. So what we're going to do in this example is I'm going to set up a new data file and then I'm going to show you how you can convert it into the Heikinashi format and then use it inside of Metastock. So step one is we need to create our data file. To do that, I'm going to click on the File button in the upper left hand corner and choose New and then Security. So again, that's File, New, Security. Now inside this new security dialog, I can choose exactly where I want to store my data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder called Metastock Data and I'm going to put a backslash after that and the first data file we're going to create is just a data file of the Dow Jones so I'm going to call my first data file Dow Jones now in this version of the downloader you can put in the name and the symbol one at a time or you can click on this lookup button over here on the right hand side so I'll go ahead and click on lookup and from the type field here I'll go ahead and make sure that I have stocks dash common selected and underneath that for the group I want to select the Dow Industrials. I'll highlight that. And then down here at the bottom, what you have to do is you have to click on the Select All button to highlight all the securities. And once they're all highlighted, then you can click on the OK button in the upper right hand corner. And you'll see that this is going to create a folder with multiple securities inside of it. The next thing I want to do is I want to give it a starting point. And since this is just an example, I'm going to go ahead and just tell it to go back and grab, for example, like the last year of data. So my starting point is just going to be of 2017. I'll click on OK and it'll ask if I want to create the folder. I'll say yes. Now once the folder is created, we then need to download the data. To do that, we're going to click on the tools and choose download prices. Now from this dialog, we have to tell it where our data file is located. So where we installed it is underneath our C drive and then underneath Metastock data, I now have a folder called Dow Jones. So I'll go ahead and select that and click on the Add button up here in the middle. And then over here on the right hand side, you'll see our folder's been added. And if we want to take a look at the securities inside this folder, we can click on the Securities tab up here at the top. But I'll go ahead and click back on the Folders tab. And then down here at the bottom, I'll click on OK. In this window, this is just asking us where we're going to be collecting our data from, number one. And then number two, what our ending date is that we want for our data file. And what it'll do is it'll default to your current date. But for this example, what I want to do is I want to choose an earlier date because then I'm going to show you how you can also update the data files on a daily basis as well. So I'll go ahead and choose an ending date of say maybe the 5th instead of the 8th. And then I'll click on OK and that'll begin the process. So when it's finished, I'll click on close, and then I can close down the downloader. 
Now the next thing I need to do is I've downloaded the data, I have it inside of a Metastock data folder, and I need to convert that data into a Heikinashi format. And that's where our Heikinashi data converter comes into play. So as you can see, I've got a shortcut here on my desktop, so I'll go ahead and select that. And then from this window, I need to click on this Add Folder button and tell it where my data is. So again, I'm going to navigate out to my C drive, Metastock Data, find the folder that we created, which we call Dow Jones, click on OK, and that will add it to it. Now, just a quick note here, and that is this is going to create a duplicate of this data file. And how it's going to keep these different data files or folders separate from each other is that if you click on this options button over here on the right hand side you'll see that the folder is by default is going to have a dash H8 at the end of the folder name and by doing it that way you're going to know exactly which one is your original data folder and which one is your Heikinashi data folder so I'll go ahead and click on OK and then to start the process just click on this convert files button down here at the bottom when it's finished click on OK and then you can close down the converter and the next step is, is that inside your Metastock program, you just need to tell it where this Heikinashi data folder is located. So whenever you download a data folder inside your program and you want to use it inside a Metastock, it's called a local data folder. And where Metastock keeps them is underneath this local data list right here. So what we need to do is we need to tell it where this folder is. So to do that, you're going to right click on local data list and you're going to click on new. And from this dialog, click on the Browse button and just navigate out to where this data folder is. So again, down here at the bottom, I'm going to click on Browse. And from here, I want to go back to my C drive and choose Metastock Data. And now you can see underneath my Metastock Data folder, I have two different Dow Jones files. I have my original Dow Jones file and I have my Dow Jones-HA. So I know that this is my Heikinashi folder. So I'll go ahead and select it and click on the select folder down here at the bottom. Now one quick note is over here on the right hand side, notice that the data folder type is called a Metastock Legacy Data Folder. So in other words, this is the older data format that you created by using that older version of the downloader. So once you have everything selected, just click on Add, click on Save, and now you'll see you'll have a folder called Dow Jones-HA. And inside this data folder are your 30 Heikinashi securities. So let's go ahead and select one. I'll just choose 3M. And then I also want to attach the Heikinashi template to it as well. So from my drop down list, I'm going to scroll down and find my Learn Metastock Heikinashi uh, template there. So it's right there. And click on Open Chart. And this, of course, brings up your Heikinashi chart. So I'll zoom in here a little bit. And if you want to scroll through your securities, just click on this right pointing arrow. Very quickly, you can just scroll through that particular data folder. And then you can see on this chart, the last bar that we have here is through June 5th. And the reason being, of course, is that when we told to download the data, we told to give it an ending date of the 5th. So now, let me walk you through the process of updating your data files on a daily basis. So the first thing you need to do is you need to run the downloader and update those local data folders. So again, I'll click on my shortcut to the downloader. And if I'm just going to be updating the same data folder, what I can do is go to Tools and then Download Prices. And then this will open up this dialog here where I could then click on OK. If you're doing the same data folder over and over each day, a quicker way to do it is just click on Tools and then express download and that'll begin the process. And as you can see in this download, we collected four more days of data. Now the next step is, is once you've collected your data, you need to run it through the Heikinashi data converter again and convert that new data into the Heikinashi format before you chart it inside of Metastock. So to do that, I'll close down this dialog here and we'll get rid of the downloader. Then I'll click on the Heikinashi shortcut that I have here on my desktop. And when it opens up, you'll see that it already has the folder selected for me. And if I don't want to make any changes to it, I'll just click on Convert Files. 
And once that's finished, all I need to do is close that down and open up Metastock. And since we've already set up the data folders inside of Metastock, now we can just open up our charts. I'll go ahead and select the same 3M security with the Heikinashi template applied to it and click on Open Chart. Now if I zoom in on the data here a little bit, you'll see the last day that we have inside the folder is on June 8th. So hopefully that was helpful, and if you have any questions, suggestions, or ideas, please don't hesitate to let us know.